Here we have one cup of brown rice going in to soak overnight. And one cup of quinoa. All right, I have here quinoa and brown rice, both of which have been soaking for about eight hours. And so I'm going to go ahead and drain those, measure out the correct amounts of water, and get them on the stove. Here's the brown rice. All right, so you can see there is about, about a cup and a half of brown rice after soaking now instead of the cup we started with. To that we're going to add about one and a half cups of water. All right, next we're going to drain the quinoa. Now we're going to make sure to rinse the quinoa really thoroughly because quinoa when soaked, produces saponins, which can cause it to taste fairly bitter if it cooks in with the actual seeds. Alright, so you can see that the quinoa has swelled quite a bit more, and there's a little over two cups of quinoa in this cup now, where we started with one. Okay, and now we are going to add approximately two cups of water to cook this quinoa all the way through. Alright, so now I have my two pots of quinoa and brown rice. Quinoa, brown rice. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt to each of these so that they're not bland. Alright, so our quinoa is just coming up to the boil, so we're going to turn that down. Our brown rice is also just starting to boil. I'm going to turn those down to a low temperature. So we're just simmering, and then cover them. And we're going to let the quinoa go for 15 minutes. We expect the brown rice to take about 40 minutes. All right, it looks like the 15 minutes has gone by, so let's check on the quinoa. And I don't think it's quite there, so I'm going to give it a few more minutes, but I'm also going to turn down the heat a little bit more, because even though it's low, it looks like it could be lower. All right, so I gave the quinoa an additional five minutes, and I'm going to see if it looks done now. And I would say that that looks a lot more promising. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for a little while to fluff, and then I'm going to stir it. Alright, the rice has now been on the stove for about 40 minutes, so let's take a look at it. And it's looking pretty good. So I think I'm going to turn it off and let it fluff. So we had varying results, as you might be able to see. Um, the quinoa cooked very quickly. It only took about 20 minutes to cook. That was five minutes longer than it called for, however, and it's rather gummy. So I'm thinking that there was maybe a little much too much water when we, when we cooked it. Um, it did call for two cups to one cup of grain. I'm thinking that it probably would have worked better with one and three quarters cups. Now the brown rice only called for one and a half cups of water, and that took 40 minutes, which was the expected time according to the grain chart that we had, and it seems to have come out just beautiful. It's nice and in individual grains, it's fluffed up well, there wasn't really any residual liquid, so I think that the liquid was right. Now, yeah, so the quinoa, I think, probably just would have done better with less liquid. Now, admittedly, it's a very humid day, that could have had an impact on the overall results, um, but in general, I definitely think that there was a little too much water for the quinoa to turn out well.